Welcome to Kettle and Brew. Today we're going to ask the question, are you better off with drinking non-organic coffee? Organic coffee has become more popular over time, but it can be expensive. When deciding between organic and non-organic coffees, is the price premium worth it? And what are you really getting with organic coffee anyway? Coffee is among the most pesticide sprayed crops worldwide, and this likely stems from the fact that coffee beans are worth much more per pound than many other crops. To increase their yield and protect their crop from bugs, the heavy use of pesticides is a common practice among farmers. Moreover, pesticides that are heavily restricted in the U.S. are still used in other regions of the world. So, what makes organic special? Organic coffee is grown without synthetic fertilizer or artificial pesticides. However, coffee farmers can still use natural fertilizer and natural insect repellents to protect their crops. Organic coffee has been a popular trend over the last several years because people are more aware about the effects that their food has on their health. This awareness has led to both the growing availability of organic coffee and the rise of fair trade practices. Fair trade is a system that seeks to change the way international trade works by making agriculture more equitable for farmers and workers in low-income countries. It does this by ensuring that fair prices are paid to farmers, that decent working conditions are maintained and safeguarded, and sharing a greater percentage of earnings from international trade with farmers. Although not all fair trade coffee comes from organic sources, the majority of fair trade coffee is organic. In addition, there are a lot of organic coffees out there that still aren't certified. The certification process can be time-consuming and expensive, involving the entire supply chain, from start to finish, along the entire farming process. This is cost-prohibitive to small coffee farms located in low-income countries. However, these farmers also often find fertilizers and pesticides to be unaffordable, and thus may avoid using harmful chemicals on their crops. If you want eco-friendly coffee that avoids synthetic fertilizers and artificial pesticides, organic is the way to go. But don't think that all alternatives are necessarily unhealthy. There actually isn't enough evidence to show whether drinking regular coffee is less healthy than organic coffee. Coffee, which is grown inside a berry, may not be as susceptible to synthetic fertilizers and pesticides, whereas other fruits may have a higher likelihood of coming with harmful chemicals. Thank you for checking out our video and I hope you find this information useful. If so, please give us a like and subscribe so you don't miss another video with information and tips on living the health-forward lifestyle.